evening. My name is Zora Bender from Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church. And I'm here again on Thursday for our youth meeting. So today we're going to start off with a prayer. Let's bow our heads, please. This, this evening, Lord, we come in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, Lord, asking that you would be with us as we teach this lesson, Lord. Pray that I make it simple enough that everybody understand what I'm trying to say. Give me the knowledge and the power to deliver this lesson. In your son Jesus name. Amen. Okay, we're going to start off by reading something everybody know of. We're going to read Genesis 1-1. We can say that to ourselves as I read Genesis 1-1. It says, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And for a lesson topic, I had two. Couldn't decide which one I wanted to go with. So I'm going to give you both of them. Can you imagine? It's amazing. Can you imagine? It's amazing. And we know imagine means to form a mental image or visualize something. My pastor, Rem Bender, says God is amazing. He's awesome, he's astounding, and he is astounding. And he those he said, those are only the A words. So I want you to keep those words in mind as I talk to you. The world, which was God's creation, is so vast, so big, that my God had to be omnipresent, which means everywhere, omniscient, which means all-powerful, self-existent, which means he was not created. He exists independently. He has always been. So we read about him parting the Red Sea. We read about him turning wine, water to wine, feeding 5,000 with two fish and five loaves, and many other miracles in the Bible. But I'm going to give you a few things that make you say, I can only imagine. Can you imagine just how big the world is? I'm going to give you a minute to think about it. Can you imagine how big the world is? God created humans, animals, trees, plants, flowers, Birds, and I could go on and on. So can you imagine how big the world is? And we know what create means, right? Create means to bring into being, to produce for the first time. So God is the only one who can create. We can make, but we have to use the thing that God has already created going to list some facts about the world that's probably going to make you say, mm, I didn't know that. I can only imagine. The world is so vast. It has seven continents. It has 195 countries. There are 50 states in the United States. And our motto is, in God we trust. It has four oceans. It has eight planets. The world is 71% water and 29% land. That's a lot of water. If you know this, then you can trust God. You can believe God and say, I can only imagine. The atmosphere is mostly nitrogen and oxygen. Where did it come from? And how does it keep producing itself every day for thousands of years? Can you imagine? Just remember, God created the world, but man named it. God didn't name the continents. He didn't name the states. He didn't name the 
man did that, but God created it. Yes, he is amazing, awesome, astounding, astonishing. Now, if you can believe this, then I'm going to put my hand on my head and say, can you imagine what heaven will be like? You have to let your mind be expanded so uh, you can imagine if the world God created this and Jesus said, I'm going away to prepare a place for you. And if I go away and prepare a place for you, he said, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there ye may be also. And lastly, People say the earth is flat. Some say it is round. So I want you to read Isaiah 40, verse 22. You need to write this down. Isaiah 40, verse 22. And you decide for your own self, is it flat or is it round? And don't forget, man was created to give God glory. And I hope we know what that means. Things that you do and say, they should see God in you. So I want you to read Isaiah 43, 7. And this is going to be my conclusion. Isaiah 43, 7, it says, And everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory, I have formed him, yea, I have made him. So can you imagine how much God loves you and how vast the world is and that he did this and then he put us over it. So we have to take care of his creation and let our man expand so we can imagine what heaven is going to be like. Thank you.